ப்ளஸ் டூ வந்து ஃபைவ் ப்ளஸ் வந்து எம் ப்ளஸ் குரூப் இது வந்து இங்கிலீஷ் பேரிட்டியல் மீட்பான் அப்புறம் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லாங் லாங் அகோ தர்லி தி கிரேட் சைனீஸ் எம் ப்ளஸ் ஊட் சக்சீடர் இருக்கிறது த எம்பர் இட் வாஸ் ஏஜ் ஆஃப் ஜெயின்ஸ் அண்ட் எம் ப்ளஸ் ஜோட்வா ஃபார் தட் ஆஸ் மீன் வாஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஃபீட் நியர்லி ஆஸ் தர்ல பிரதர் இட் வாஸ் ஏ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் ஊமன் அட் தட் ஏபிள் ரூலர் தர் இஸ் அன் இன்ஃபன் ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் ஹவு ஜி மெண்டட் ஏ பார்ட் ஆஃப் த ப்ரோக்கன் அவன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த டெரஸ்டிங் பில்டர்ஸ் விச் ஆஃப் பில்ட் த ஸ்கை போத் ஆஃப் விச் வேர் டேமேஜ் டூரிங் த ரெபலியன் ப்ளீஸ் பே ஒன் ஆஃப் த கிங் ஃபியூக் இஸ் சப்ஜெக்ட் த ரெபல் நேம் வாஸ் கோகை இட் வாஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஃபீட் ஹை His body was entirely covered with hair and his face was black as a young. You know, Jopa Ibris uh, Spoo and what is called Hakko and Dikko. And the foreigners were made with the general of the front forces. <coughs> First act was to imply that water day who caused a great flood to rush over the country. It is found at the poor people out of their homes. And the name was Jopa saw the plight of the subject and named that Kokai's fault. She declared war against him. <coughs> Ako was delighted that the interest choice should fall on him and he prepared himself for battle. He took up the longest lance he could find and mounted a red horse and he was just about to sit and heard about something galloping hard behind him and shouting. Ako stopped the general of the front forces must be. He looked back and saw he who is comrades. Crying on a white horse in the act of unsitting a large sword. to draw upon him. Ako sang was kneeled and stunned her to face in his river he cried. Insolent wretch, I have been appointed by the Empress to let the front forces to battle. Do you dare to stop me? He has answered in proof. I ought to let the army take you. You should follow me. At this bold reply, Ako's anger burst from a spark in the flame. Dad, you sanser must need us. Take that key. Plunge that team with this lance. But Ako moved quickly as he ran the team. At the same time, raising his sword, he wounded the head of the Hendra's horse, obliged to dismount. Haku was about to rush at his antagonist, when Iko, as quick as lightning, tore from his breast, the bat is coming to the yard of the way. The action was quick. The Haku was too dazed, not knowing what to do. Hendra's had suspected, <coughs> suspected, Spectator of the scene and could not admire the equipment of ambitious equality in order to trust him, he didn't make it. She didn't appoint them to the generalship of the front of the army. So, Hako was made the commander of the left wing of the front of the army, leap of the right one and a thousand soldiers who followed them and marched up to the rebel Kokai. Within a short time, the two generals reached the castle in the Kokai and fortified himself. We are now at the heart of the resort said, I will know these two poor children are in the one day. He literally thought how hard he would find the fight. With these words, Kokai seized an iron rod and wanted a black horse and rushed forth like an angry tiger to meet his two foes. As the young warriors saw them tearing down upon them, they said to each other, he must not let him escape alive and they attacked him from the night and from the left with sword and with the lance. But all the powerful Kokai was not able to easily beat the river. His iron brought round like a great water wheel and for a long time they fought thus, neither hide, gaining, nor losing. At last to avoid the research iron rod, Haku turned his horse too quickly. The animals who struck against a large stone and a fright, the horse reared as straight on wind as his feet, throwing his master to the ground. Thereupon Kokai drew his three-edged sword and was to kill the prostrate Haku. But before the wizard could work his wicked will, the prayer Iko had been his horse in front of the Kokai and had him to try his strength with him and not to kill a fallen man. But Kokai was tired and he did not seem inclined to face this fresh and dauntless Soviet soldier. So suddenly feeling the horse around he fled from the prey. Ako, who had been while only slightly stunned, had by this time got upon his feet and he and his comrade rest after the retreating enemy, and one on the foot and on the other's back. Kokai, seeing that he was pursued, turned upon his nearest assailant, and he was, of course, the mountain he and drawing forth an arrow from the 
who were at his back fitted it to his bow and drew upon his bow. As quick as lightning, the very, very eagle avoided the shaft which only touched his helmet, strings and a glancing mark fell armless against the apple's coat of armor. The wizard saw that the both his enemies remained unsearched. He also knew that there was no time to squeeze a second arrow before they would upon him. So, to save himself, he resorted to magic. He stretched forth his heart and immediately a great flood arose from the Joppa's army and uh, her brave young generals passed her like a falling apart of the sun's skin. Aqua Dito found them so struggling with keeping water and looking down at them. Saw the ferocious Kokai making towards them through the water with the fire rod on the eye. They thought every moment that they could be cut down. But the brave Eustap crowd to sin as far as they could from Kokai's reach. All of a sudden they found themselves in front of what seemed to be an island rising straight out of the water. They looked up and there stood old man with hair as white as snow, smiling at them. They cried to him to help them. The old man nodded his head and came down to the edge of the water. As soon as he touched his cloud, flood it waited and a huge road appeared to the amazement of the drowning man who now found themselves safe. Kokai had by his step reached the island which has been by the bison as a miracle out of the water and seeing his enemies thus saved was furious. He rushed through the water upon the old man and seeing it as if he surely be killed but the old man appeared not in the least dismayed. He calmly awaited the wizard's onslaught. As Kokai drew near, the old man laughed out of merrily. And turning into a large and white beautiful train, flapped his wings and flew upwards in the heavens. The Napa and Epa saw this being that deliverer was no mere human being, as far as God, God in this case, and they hoped later on to find out the winner of the whole universe. In the meantime, they created it, and being now close, now close of the day, for the sun was setting, both Kokai and Owen warriors gave up the idea of fighting more that day.